Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21st of the September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's part. And today we have a hard one. Yay! Uh, I just woke up from taking a nap. I actually, yeah, I did eight miles in the morning. Uh, I was going to, it's supposed to be easy miles, but I was running with some buds, uh, and, it, and then I don't know. Uh, they just kind of pulled me along, so I kind of, uh, went to harder and faster than I would like but that's okay but tomorrow we'll see what happens because I had tomorrow I have the 11 miles or so uh but no but you know the weather here in New York is getting a little bit better for, at least for running um so I was able to kind of like like I mean you know the the the, the speed I had no issue with with the pace in any case it wasn't like I was stretched to my limits but it's good to see how like you know, uh, uh, like it was faster than I would have liked, so it wasn't as easy as I would like, but still it was a good effort. So, uh, like my, my, my body's finally getting a little bit better in shape. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, and we'll see how things go. Uh, like I said, only about, I don't know, six weeks, I want to say, to the marathon, which is kind of crazy now that I think about it, right? Only, a, only six weeks, but, um, time flies. Okay. Anyway, uh, sorry for the low energy today. I'm just, I, I took a nap because uh, I had too big of a dinner probably. And now I want to, and now I'm trying to, oh, I'm on a, huh. I didn't even notice. I mean, people keep on pointing it out in my comments that I, uh, and you can't really see it because it's behind my face. But um, I have a 1,999 day streak. I, um, so that means today it's going to be my 2,000th day streak, which Honestly, who cares about that small numbers, right? At least we'll wait until twenty forty eight to uh to hit the the binary numbers, right? But uh, you know, but it's still kind of nice, I suppose. I don't know. It, it it doesn't really matter. I mean, we just keep on going until uh you know something happens. So ah, uh, and today we have nineteen twelve design movie rental system. As if we rent movies anymore nowadays, we just kind of um you see you know I wonder how old this problem is because we don't even have movie rental that much anymore right we just kind of uh download them off the internet uh sell in the high seas or maybe pay for netflix i suppose right whatever it is let me know in the comments how you get your favorite movies uh, i just watch i mean i i already mentioned that i just watch enders but i also just finished watching uh the new season of future armor so definitely support that as you know i'm a huge uh future armor fan so uh yeah uh and and it's a little bit of a fun fact uh, you know my drone. Sometimes I I do drone intros or drone videos. Um, my all my drones are named Planet Express with a number, uh, uh, and the number is always a little bit sad because it means that that's how many previous one I've crashed slash lost. So I think I'm up to Planet Express six or something like that. But uh, anyway, all right, let's take a look at today's farm. Uh, but there's there's some uh some lore, some tea for y'all. All right, 1912 design movie rental system. You you have a movie renting company consists of n shops. You want to implement a renting system that supports searching for, searching for, booking and returning movies. The system should also support generating a report of the currently rented movies. Each movie is given as a 2D integer uh, entries, shop movies and price. A shop sub I, movie sub I, price sub I. Indica indicating, indicates that there is a copy of the movie movies uh, sub I at shop sub I with a rental price of price sub I. Each shop carries at most one copy of a movie movie sub I. Okay. And you have to support five final functions. Search, find five uh, shops that have an unrented movie of a. Uh, I can't even read it today. Cheapest five shops to have an unrented copy of a movie. All right, so already from here, you have to figure out how to, uh, that means that we probably want something that indexes by movie, right? And have to kind of figure out how to do um, rented, unrented. And maybe top five, uh, but but that maybe it's not as necessary. It is just kind of, um, you know, just top K, right? Like. It could be top K, but you have to return five anyway, so you know, it's not a big deal. Anyway, uh, rent seems reasonable. Just rent a movie. Uh, drop, so unrent, if you will. Undo renting, whatever. You you know, you get it. And then report, oh, there's another one. 
reports to or uh, returns to five cheapest the cheapest five rental movies possibly the same idea so, okay so this one okay so this one is finding it for one movie and this one is for any movie no right, that sounds okay uh and that <clears throat> Remember, uh, you have multiple things. We can have multiple indexes, right? The way that I think about this, maybe, is that... And I've got a lot of ways to think about this, right? But the way that I think about it is that we're, we're um, you know... And I already kind of hinted at it a little bit. Is that, okay, we have a database of these things, and we want to search, we want to support these functions by having indexes, right? Um, and, of course, these indexes implementation, you can do however you like. Uh, and if you have, like, an actual SQL database... Uh, let me know in the comments if you say SQL versus SQL. I actually go either way because I say mice. Huh. Sometimes I say SQL and sometimes I say SQL. So, like, I don't say no SQL. Do I? No, I say no SQL. But my SQL or my SQL? I'm so confused now. I don't even know what I say anymore. But in any case, uh, uh, yeah, so it's like a database, right, of those things and you just kind of support these functions and you would have indexes for them. So, you know, so that so that's kind of the idea, and all, um, and then along with that, and, and kind of if you have exposure to databases, right? It's just that every index is, does have a little bit of a cost, but because you have to maintain them after every change, and that's it. Um, and also, I kind of lied a little bit about this is the more general one because this is five rented movies. Hmm. And there's some like sh um, type working rules that we probably should double check a little bit. But that, yeah, but without further ado, I think that should be good. Um, yeah, and they're all initially unrented. The, I mean, in the initial... Uh, okay, I mean, yeah. But then, yeah, um, what is N? N is just the number of entries and entries. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we we even be like as direct as we can, right? Maybe we have like uh, unrendered uh, by movies or something, right? But you can, uh, and with this, we know that we have to search for one given movie, so we want to maybe have a collection start uh, default dict. So uh, get for we, uh, using movie as a as the key, and then we just have uh, shops, right? And for for cheapest shops, we just have a sorted list and we should be okay. Right? And then also to support uh, report. Uh, it's just rented in general, right? The cheapest we... So this, we can just have one sorted list. Um, and then the other thing is just having the actual data struct to support this. Um, what, what would be the easiest? Mm. I mean, I guess we... Shops don't even matter here, do we? Like, we never do lookups by shop, which is kind of odd, maybe. But, I mean, maybe, uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, maybe it's part of drop and rent, but... But, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you could do it, do it in a couple of ways, right? So now you have four shop, movie, price, and entries. We can say, um, I don't know, like movies of shop and movie is equal to maybe something like, um, like you could maybe wrap this in a tuple or something like that, or wrap this in a name tuple or a class or, or a structure or whatever. Uh, but for now, maybe I'll just write force uh, the price and force the second this is being read or this is rented or not. And of course, uh, I meant self that movies is you to do 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 right. Okay, and now search. Oh, oh yeah, no, we have to we have to finish pre-processing this right. And then now we have to do self dot. None of these are rented, so so we don't have to do uh, unrented movies. We have to keep track of this index. We want to append. Uh, what are the cheapest? Uh, I guess this is add actually, but uh, uh, shop. So we want to search for price or uh, sort by price and then the shop ID, right? And and the small should come first, so then this should be okay. Okay, right? 
and then yeah and then now search is what we said so we have uh yeah which is for what do we return is it just shop id oh, i guess i have to look down a little bit for the actual specs because it, it just say return a list of oh i guess it is a list of id so um return a list of shops that okay i mean it the the reason why it feels a little weird is because why would you do it like as an api design it just feels a little bit weird that you would have return the shop without the price i mean you could look it up of course but if you already have it then why wouldn't you you know just do it in the same uh, bundle or the same query but i mean it's fine it's just uh kind of awkward uh yeah so you have for um yeah price shop in solve dot unrendered by movies of uh movie right and maybe we just keep it to the top five as we said then uh maybe we have all for result and then we just all dot append shop right and then here you and you could make this a one liner of course i i i i like to write it out just because I guess with this one, is it doesn't matter that much, but let's say I have a, like, uh, maybe I have to do a transformer phone or something weird where I have to debug it. I could do print shop and I don't have to, like, unroll it, right? Because if you do a one-liner, you might write something like return, uh, you have a list, you have a shop for do do, um, I think it's actually this, like, insult that unrendered, dot, 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 dot. Let's just say I finished typing that. So you write this, but then now if you have a typo or something, uh that, and you want to debug and you want to add a print statement that's just a, a little bit more annoying right so i mean you know it's not a big deal but but that's why i do the things i do sometimes um at least before we know that we were to find it correct remember don't prematurely optimize especially for silly things okay rent okay so rent and drop pretty straightforward right so uh we have solved that movie oops movies do they always exist I'm going to assume that they always exist, but because it doesn't really seem to say. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it does always exist. But you, you obviously in real life, you would do some more checks and stuff. But uh, yeah. Okay. So you, how do we shop and movie? Right? Shop movie. Um, so we rented it. So do we? Okay. Yeah. So it, we always both it should exist and it it has an unrented copy so then now we can just say this is your price um uh, hmm. maybe we can write it like this uh eh, yeah okay let's just say previous price do 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 is you got this and then now uh it's gonna be true in that it's rented uh, but now that it is rented, the two things we have to update, right? The indexes. So self dot unrendered by movies of movie. We want to remove um, the price and the shop. And then the other one is self dot rented. Uh, what is that again? I, 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 we haven't implemented yet, so I forget. Cheapest five. Okay, so then here, and we never even used it yet. So then we can add uh, a rented movie, which will contain uh let's see so it's just the price price is the number one thing and then in terms of a tie then a shop id and then the smaller movie id so you have added this and so yeah so now this should be good <clears throat> and this should always exist i mean the precondition is all the things that they were talking about so if you know if it throws an error that means that something is wrong but that's okay uh but yeah drop so we drop it back off so same thing right but in reverse I don't even I mean in theory we don't even need this because we don't ever use it to look up because we just assume that this is correct but you know maybe it's still a, you know just educational and uh, stuff I don't know. and this is just reverse of what we just did so maybe I could even copy it right uh, and then now we just add it back right and then self dot rendered dot uh, remove. Right. 
and report is just going through it's going to be very similar to this right um but yeah then we have for uh what do we have in rent uh we have price shop movie in self dot rented right uh and we only care about top five um then we want we sell that so pen the shop and then the movie right and that's it and again we don't care about the price so yeah i mean same thing i said about the the one liner you can definitely do one liner here but uh yeah looks okay right let's go a quick submit mostly because i'm lazy and yeah and look two thousand day streak yay Yay! Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean that's it. It's just about what well, this is one of those problems. I mean, you could call it ad hoc, right? I mean, it's fine. You can maybe call it data structure, also true to a degree. Um, I just call it these bookkeeping because basically you have you're keeping where um everything is, keeping track of everything and where everything is. Uh, the bookkeeping term, you could buy Google. It's, it's more like a, an accountant term of just making sure that everywhere, like ev after you do every transaction or one transaction, everything is where it should be. And that's kind of the invariant that I always think about. Um, but yeah, um, overall though, uh, yeah, I don't know why this is a hard day. Oh, okay. I was curious where I made a mistake last time. I'm much slower. Why, why, why was it five times slower? I, mean, I did it the... I mean, this is basically the same code, really. So maybe it's just a, and I did do it with the one liner back then. Um, actually, this is very similar. Maybe I, even the same variable name. This this time I didn't do it lazy, and then I got lazy when by the time I got the second one. Not gonna lie, but uh, yeah. Anyway, all right. Oh, let's go over to complexity. I, I forgot. Sorry. I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward for complexity analysis, where right? everything should be mostly log n ish. Right, uh, rent is log n because we have add and remove from a binary search tree. I use sorted list here. Um, in other languages, you can use your own uh, search tree e um, data structure, right? So, but yeah, rent and drop is going to be log n for uh, same reasons. Uh, but search and report is going to be say you could say maybe k log n, right? Uh, where k is five it's a constant so you could also say it's o of log n if you prefer that um but let's say you, if this five is an input thing then you know it is what it is um and you can't really go that much faster i mean in theory the low the the absolute lower bound that you can be it's just um o of k right where it's all five in this case because you, that's the size of the output so it has to be at least that um so you know k log n is not too too bad and yeah, uh, and of course, the initial is also kind of n log n because for every entry, we definitely um, create an entry here. So yeah, that's going to be n log n. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching for 2000 days. Maybe not all of you, but uh, you know, what is that? Is that how many years is that? I don't even know anymore. I mean, I started on uh, uh, April Fool's uh, 2020. I mean, that's not true. I have videos before that, but but I think that's when they started doing the daily problems and I started doing the daily problems and haven't stopped, I suppose. So anyway, that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Ho hopefully, maybe it's another 2,000 more. I don't know. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.